additional dollars for your team win two series an, an additional 60,000 on top of the 25 that you just won it's unbelievable uh, you know this is this is big money on the line here neither team wants to lose LGIM definitely has uh, the ability here to be able to uh, to bring this back but uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna be able to do it uh, how do you feel about this map uh, you know blades edge versus the, these uh, these wizard mirrors how does it usually play out um, you know, I, I feel like this is this is a map that, that's going to go long. Uh, we have both Port on Soda and Channels, and I think that's why they probably want to switch it up. We'll see if he's still playing with Beam, but my guess is they will. Oh, he is? Okay, so my mistake. Uh, but still, I think it's a map that you can kind of kite it out. You can play pretty defensive, and you can try to knock uh, Shockey off the bridge into kind of awkward spots. So the Shadow Fury going to come down on Shockey and Nuker there. Uh, Demon Soul has been popped by both Warlocks with that Trinket proc. Uh, Nuker actually using the on-use uh, Trinket. Pretty, a pretty strange choice there. Uh, but anyway, Shockey going to have to pull back down here onto the bottom. Uh, as he is taking quite a bit of damage and uh, is actually going to drop that, that early healing tide. Yeah, definitely. And again, we're going to see, you know, like the game pace doesn't really kick in until that dampening kicks in, it seems like. We did see a little bit of damage on Asoda right now, but uh, the MLS just kind of putting damage into Channimals, uh, you know, trying to trying to keep their momentum. Uh, Shockey right there, caught, caught to a howl into the middle yeah. of the map, so it could spell trouble for him. He's able to get out of that. Uh, it's going to be fine. Yeah, you see Soda even throwing out that root onto him. Uh, you know, just trying to it's just, it's trying to slow things down. But Shockey all over that. He's just going to spell it off with the UA, and he's doing a good job. But he's going to get locked here. And now this is where things could get a little bit dicey as the procs start coming out from Talbotar. He throws one a Lava Surge after him. Uh, but Shockey staying out of LOS. The Nova's coming in from Avenger. Good defensive play here. But the Shadow Three now going to land. The Deep Freeze comes out on Channel. There's the beam down onto Shockey. Shockey going to be able to walk out of that. But there was a Deep Freeze on Channel, and they're doing the damage actually here uh, to Soda. Uh, so they're actually spreading around damage quite a bit. And now Talbotar starting to rot. The MLS really. Uh, trying to make things happen here for them in this fourth game. You know, they need to push it to this, this final map. They want to so, so badly. They've practiced, you know, hundreds and hundreds of hours to get here. And now it's all come down to this. So Talbot are, are dipping low. Soda is caught into a sheep right now. I'm not sure if he has shamanistic rage up or not, but he does have his trinket available. Both Talbot are and Soda have their trinket available. They're not going to make the same mistake they did last game. Yeah, definitely not. But Talbot are actually able to hold the sham rage there. So, you know, good decision. He got away. He knew no more damage was incoming. He was able to hold it. But now the shatter are going to be coming in. No, it's going to be shocked off there by Talbot are uh, saying no to that uh, from Avenger. Avenger going to drop down to the bottom, but Shockey uh, kind of being a, a abandoned a little bit up top, but now the deep freeze coming in on Soda. Uh, are they going to use that just for CC? Yeah, the MCS comes out on Talbot. Right, Talbot will be the target. Him. He is going to be able to get out the MCS with the, with the Sham Rage right there popped, so he's not going to have that available for the next. Both of them have their trinket up, so Soda's able to get out of that sheep. Uh, they're going to be able to recover from this, but uh, the MLS, you know, being impressive here. I mean, they are definitely scary, a scary team. They're actually the ones dictating the pace, and you know what's scary is that Avenger actually never even used his Icicles on that swap, that forced Sham Rage. Uh, he's still holding those, so it's a really, really intelligent stuff. Shockey actually getting a drink to full as well. Things going very well for LGIM, our Korean uh, team here, but there's the Beam coming in Avenger. They're going to try to turn it around, try to go aggressive here onto him. He needs to get that water elemental out. He wants to go for this deep freeze uh, quickly before. And you can see he does have those five icicles now. He's looking for the poly. Will he be able to get it? The poly comes out on channels. There's the howl onto Talbotar. Talbotar those keeping those full haunts onto him. So they are expecting it. Uh, can he get that water elemental? I think he's going to go for the summon now. Yep, here it comes. And now they're going to try to get this set up. Uh, we do see there's the will of Forsaken use there. Polymorph going to be coming out on channels once again. And still five stack icicles. Soda with no hots. They may look at him. No, but they're going to go back onto Talbotar. I'm Shockey playing so impressive to me right now. Just really defensive, keeping his team free of dots. I mean, we've seen, you know, they're, they're about 50, floating around 50%. He is feared into the middle, of the so wild, this could be though. trouble right here. Yeah, and the block is great gateway right there, but I'm Shockey just kind of mitigating a lot of that damage. Yeah, the, you can just see, they were doing fine on HP. Heart of the Wild comes out, they're all half the block as far as the, just the additional damage from Soda is incredible. But, but look at this. This is a deep orb onto Soda right here. And he's not skinning it, and the coil comes out, and that could be a mistake. The late skin comes out now, but will they make a pay for this? The MCS coming out on Soda, he's gonna sit through that, looks like he's okay, he's in that efflorescence. Uh, we do see that Avengers pet has been killed off once again, Temporal up on him. Uh, Soda gonna try to get involved again with the end of his Heart of the Wild, he wants to get in there, get some extra damage out. Shocky, put in the fear by Channel. Uh, we see the Spearwalker's Grace was stolen there by Avenger, he's going down on the bottom. He Shockey that trinketing that clone from Soda right there. He's not going to have that later. I know that he wants to keep Avenger uh, offensive and, and not fall too far behind. Did, did get a block out of him a little bit ago. So uh, great choice uh, trinketing that clone. May come back to bite him later. Yeah, we'll have to see if they're going to be able to play defensive enough. If he does get caught in the bash, it's going to be up to his teammates uh, to keep him alive. And we are seeing Avenger once again just trying to stack this up. He almost has Alter Time. He's going to look for the Ice Skills. He's going to go for the Alter Time or Burst. You can see Orb coming up in 10 seconds. Uh, ten, the Alter Time up right now as well. Uh, he doesn't want to lose this pet too fast, though. He did just lose another one. So uh, they got to try to keep these pets alive a little bit better. You know, at least uh, give it a minute until it dies. And then you can have that, that cooldown back up to resummon. Uh, Shocky, as we see, just constantly dispelling those UAs, keeping his team clean. And uh, looks like that Water Ellie will once again, Downy up does fall. Uh, the CS coming out onto Avenger. Can they actually force something here? 
Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they were trying to look at Soda there. They got skin in the last swap, but uh, he's playing so defensively. He knows that he can't push in right now. He's he's gonna be he's gonna be comfortable, you know, staying back fine. We see the NS yeah. out of him. And I mean, the, the thing is, once it looks like he still has NS up. Actually, I'm not sure yeah. what. Uh, Maybe looking for the clone, but it could get spell stolen and purged. You have to be careful about that. Uh, and I mean, they wanted to go for that damage there, but they lost their opportunity as the water Ellie went down. He had no, you know, readily available way to get those fingers to get the deep freeze. So uh, it's about to come back up now, but they have to be careful about that. You know, it's, it's shutting down these burst windows that they're having. You know, they forced cooldowns, but now the cooldowns are all coming back up because they had to wait so long before they did the damage. Um, as we can see, we're we're past five minutes into the game now, so dampening coming into play here. Shocky caught by the Shadow Fury, triple Shadow Fury into the triple Howl, uh, looking like it's not going to be Tremor and maybe it's not available. The, the clone comes out on Nuker. Yeah, Avengers was able to use that, uh, that NS uh, on a Nuker right there for that clone. Yeah, and um, uh, maybe you just forgot about it. I'm not sure. That was up there for quite a long time. But Soda going to be put into the Palm Sheep, it does look like, uh, there from uh, from uh, Avenger. But Avenger not really able to get any damage out as the Earth Grab comes down, locking them all in place. And, you know, Talbotar and Chanimal just pull back. So uh, really nothing done there with that Palm, unfortunately, here for LGIM. And they were dictating the pace early on, but it just seems to have uh, kind of ended in a little bit of a stalemate here. Maybe this green team is it knows something we don't. They're trying to think that dampening advantage is them or something, because right now they're the ones playing so turtly here. Right, uh, right. They, they I mean, and it's interesting. They, they're doing these swaps onto Soda again. I mean, we saw Talbadar was the one who went down. I feel like they need to be concentrating on going on him. That might be what's happening to so come to a deep freeze right here. Yeah, but they're going to be going on Talbadar. They do shoot out those icicles. There's the coil onto, uh, onto Soda as he gets out of the poly. The root beam coming down, though, onto uh, Avenger, trying to shut things down uh, by Talbadar. And uh, not even uh, able to force that Shaman Rage, unfortunately, this time around. You know, for LGIM, the Hex coming out now onto Avenger. Going to be able to break up that poly. Bash comes in on Shockey. They're going to be looking at him. Uh, the immediate trinket comes out there from uh, from uh, Avenger, is he trying to pull back here, trying to get out of the yeah, Avenger could be in huge trouble right now. I'm shocked he's stuck in a short clone. He does have his trinket up. I'm not sure if they're going to wait for the block or not. No, he does throw that NS, and they are going to gate away, so I think he's going to be able to actually hold it here, even though he is dangerously low. Yep, uh, they, you know, they did have a, a good enough coordination and communication there, and actually the clone coming out, uh, eating a lot of that burst there from Talbadar, so a little bit of miscommunication there uh, from skill cap, but not a big deal at all. Talbadar going to drop the grounding on that shatter, but once again, Icicle's being stacked up here. They're going to look for the damage here, and uh, you know they've decided to start deep freezing for CC. I think that's kind of the main change that they're, they've done so far, is they're not really deeping the, the kill target anymore. They're just deeping for CC every time, and I actually kind of like it, but the problem is just that uh, Talbotar, if you can't hold him in place, he's just going to kind of LOS you. Uh, the orb now coming out there. There's the MC, uh, MCS on a Talbotar, but he gets a Shaman Rage up first, so that's a big deal. A uh, fast Shaman Rage there, and the Sheep comes out now right onto there, uh, Soda. stuck in a Sheep, but yeah, they both have Trinkets. They're both playing uh, pretty passively right now. They know that they that they just mitigated a lot of that damage. I mean, what does Skill Cap need to do? We saw them take out the Shaman of the of LGIM. I'm shocked he was the one who was going down in these initial games. Seems like they're not really focusing him too much. Put, could be that he's just playing too defensively. What do you think they need to change up? I, I feel like they're just honestly playing it off dampening. I think they're waiting for Second Heart of the Wild, and they're saying, we're going to win when we get to a Second Heart of the Wild. And, uh, you know, I actually kind of agree with them. So, you know, it is it is a very defensive play style, and I think that them just, they're literally tunneling only Avenger and the pet, and I think that's their way of, of stopping any burst opportunities from LGIM. They're waiting till late. They say they have the advantage there, and I agree with them. Uh, there's the Halotero, though, coming out onto Shaki. Looks like they want to get something done on him. The Sheep going to be coming off that fear onto Soda. He will be stuck in that Talbotar. Could he be in some trouble here? Uh, he is going to be caught in the middle a little bit. Nice knockback from him. He's going to jump down to the bottom, down about half HP. There's a Coil in the MCS onto Soda. Soda Whoa, actually going to trinket. damage right here onto Talbotar. The deep, deep freeze on the trinket. He could be in trouble. Nature's Guardian comes out. Scenario Ward and Iron Bark as well. Drew is able to do so, so much well silence there. So uh, he is going to be okay. But yeah, they forced a lot. Um, but. Sham Rage coming back up, and we do see the trinket there from Talbotar is available once again. So Talbotar has all his stuff, but you know I think that was that was a little bit of a reaction to what happened last game. Channel and, and Soda having a little bit of a panic moment there, both trinketing immediately to try to keep Talbotar alive. Yeah, I mean, and, and we're we're gonna look at this is gonna be crucial right here if they can connect onto Talbotar without these cooldowns, uh, they can make something happen. Looks like Nuker is gonna be the the main choice of target for skill capped here. I'm not sure if uh, if that's gonna be correct. I'm shocked using his trinket recently, so he could be a viable target as well. Talbotar trying to reverse some pressure here. Oh, uh, Full ring now out onto Soda. Could this be trouble? No, it's going to get broken up, actually. Uh, Shockey starting to fall behind big time, and you can see only a minute remaining on that Heart of the Wild. So can he really maintain as it's going to be coming up at the 10-minute mark uh, once again? Yes, uh, the so pet has been is going to be... Dampening is going to be a huge factor right now. I mean, these swaps, we see them. People are dipping down to 20%. It's going to be killer when this when when we go past 10 minutes soon. Yeah, and the, we do have that Trank of the Wild. Uh, Trank coming out there with that... Uh, that uh, a solar forest to talent, so it is very, very quick. He's going to be able to heal his whole team back up. But look at Avenger, has to get out of there. Temporal has been popped. He is going to be okay. Uh, back behind that pillar, here I do go. believe. I think this is the damage right here on I'm Shocky. That's who they're looking at, but Avenger's dipping low too. 
Yeah, and Soda's actually saving up the combo points right now. He's trying to build up those combo points before he pops hard uh, so he can have that main or the, or the Forge's Bite. But look at Nuker. Nuker may just go down. Triple Howl comes out. He's MCS on it. He can't tremor. There's a block from Avenger, but he has to cancel it to try to peel for his team as they're all so, so low here. Shocky has a lot of work to do. Will he be able to do it? Uh, Nuker down to 100k. Shocky at half HP. The crit NS comes out. A big blaze there uh, from LGIM staying alive. Avenger you canceling that block immediately. He had to do it. Sham Rage coming out, though, on the deep freeze. They're trying to turn it around here. Soda now popping the heart of the wild. This is the key time. He's getting aggressive. Will he overextend? He's going, building up those combo points. This is it. They knocked him out there. There's the Mave. Soda's right there. He's stuck in the Mave. And this could be it for Shocky. MCS, MCS comes onto off. Him. Nature's Guardian goes up. He into the bash now. There's the offensive hex. They're trying to finish him off. Nature's Guardian's about to fall. The link goes down. They have to get in. Nuker needs to get over there. But he's not able to do it. Uh, Soda, though, caught in the sheep. He couldn't shift it. He has to trick it. Uh, will they have any follow-ups? He's spamming out the Moonfires now. Heart of the Wild just adding so much to this stage in the game. And Shocky is struggling. Avenger down the to deep so does... Yeah, he's able to crit that out. That Shroom Bloom, I do believe, there. The Coil comes out onto Talbadar, but, uh, you know, Nature's Guardian did proc Iron Bark up there. Uh, we're seeing this in Iron Ward going up as well, but it's all up to Shaki now. His team's hopes lift uh, on his shoulders, man. It's so hard to heal through this damage with the dampening. He has to do it, but he pulls back to heal himself up. He's falling behind on his teammates. They're all down about 20% HP. Shaki, 80k HP. He needs to get these he heals fixed up. The shear he there, fixed the shear. He does make that cheer, but he gets locked! This could be this it! This could be Still it right cap. here. He's got About the drain channeling. That's gonna be it. it. Whoa, They're Tabadar, we could see a cross kill right here. Will he go down? 30,000 30, health! The heals are doing nothing! MCS, MCS. on the soda! We he, might oh see a cross God. kill. Oh no, he's, I can't, I can't believe he's time. staying alive through this. He's, I think he's gonna survive. I think it's enough. The Sham Rage comes back up. The Iron Bar goes down. Wow, and LGIM. so close to a cross kill right there. Wow. LGIM, so impressive.